when you are a critical communications veteran, and that means somebody that is in the business for over 15 years, for example, 25 years, <laughs> I don't know. But when you're long in this industry, you've heard about the time that Hytera Mobilfunk was Roden Swartz. Uh, so Roden Swartz, it became Hytera Mobilfunk, still selling and producing infrastructure, Tetra infrastructure. But now as the industry is changing, now as the whole world is changing in, in terms of critical communications, I really wonder what the direction of that company will be for the next couple of years. Because when you have taken a close look at exhibitions at Hytera Mobilfunk, you must realize that there is something going on. Therefore, I have arranged an interview with Matthias Klausing, who is the CEO of Hytera Mobilfunk. And Matthias is not really fond of being interviewed. I, at least, I haven't seen any video interviews with Matthias for a long, long time. And as COVID struck our, our, our industry as well over the last couple of years, uh, I still want to know what is going on. You might have seen the rebranding of HMF, because that's the name they are promoting right now. HMF, which still stands for High Terra Mobile Funk, I guess. Um, but 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 the rebranding probably tells us something. And what exactly the rebranding is telling us, I don't know. I don't have any clue. Will they still be producing Tetra infrastructure? Will they go a different direction? Um, so that's one. Second thing is I'm going to have a short tour around the facility today. I'm having some other talks as well, of course, but. I'm really interested in, in the direction, in, in the new direction of HMF. So there's another 108 kilometers to go. That's in German terms about probably a half an hour drive at the German highway. Um, no, I'm just joking, but uh, in Germany, you know, you're allowed to drive as fast as you can at certain places. So I'm taking the benefit of it. Right. Once you've made this corner in this little village, you're there, according to my Waze app. And here we are. So we're about 10 minutes early, so that's good. Let's see if we can find a parking spot over here. Okay, All right, we have arrived. So right now I'm inside the uh, the entrance. Well, actually, this is the old entrance of the High Terra Mobile Funk facility, HMF facility. Let me be clear. Um, that is going to change. There's lots going to change within this company. In a few minutes, I have an interview with Matthias Klausing. He's the CEO, as I told you, just in the car. Um, and I'm going to run around the office here. Not that much, actually. But they want to show me some changes they're having planned for this company. And I'm really curious to figure out exactly what is going to change, what is the new direction of HMF, and uh, what is all the reason behind it actually. So this is the, the old entrances, and if you have been here before, you know exactly where I am in the building, uh, underneath the High Terra sign. That sign probably will be changed as well, just like the colors uh, that they change, and you have seen already the new flag of HMF just outside. So let's go inside and see exactly what they have in mind in changing this wonderful company here in Bad Münder in Germany. You can hear the quality of the sound, which is kind of challenging. Uh, but this is going to be the entrance of high HMF. Can you imagine this is going to be the entrance? So that means that they have to eliminate the sound. So no more echo anymore. And it should sound a little bit like this. Um, yeah, it should sound like this. Can you hear the difference? So this is with echo and this is without echo. Okay, let's see another part of this HMF company, which is the Innovation Lab. And that lab is, is key to the change of HMF for the near future, actually for right now already. Um, let's go to the Innovation Lab right now. So, I'm right now in the 
HMF Innovation Lab. You don't see a lot of stuff behind me, actually, because they, well, there's a big thing about LTE, and there is a lorry over there, um, and there's a robot arm over there. I'm not sure if you can see it. That's the one I showed you at Critical Communication Tool, the PMR Expo. I'm not sure about that. You can see that in the video over here. But um, I'm getting explained what they're doing in the Innovation Lab. Well, the name says it all, Innovation Lab, so you would expect innovation. But the question is, what are all these racks and, um, that you see over here? Uh, I'm not so sure about that. It probably has to do with something with 5G. Um, but let's wait until the person that I am going to interview will arrive. Hmm. There's a big screen as well. And uh, some radios, some phones. Thomas Conrad from Hatera Mobile Funk GmbH. Uh, so welcome to the Innovation Lab. And we call it HMF right now. Yeah, right? HMF. HMF. That's we, call right. it, That's we call it HMF from now on. All right, so Thomas, uh, I just explained there's something about LTE, there's a lorry, actually we can see it as a lorry over mm -hmm. there. Uh, there's a robot arm over there. Uh, and this is some, 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 some technology stuff I'm, I'm not familiar with. So please, can you explain what you guys are doing here? All right, so in this area, um, the new founded innovation lab of HMF is active with testing, verifying and integrating complete solution for certain market verticals. Um, so we do that by using a uh, 5G infrastructure there. Th that's the left one over here? The left one over there comprising of the 5G core equipment as well as the run equipment. Um, in the middle section you can see different types of software applications which relate and reflect certain needs, use cases and scenarios of market verticals. So for example integrating with command center solutions, integrating with SCADA, telemetry solutions and so on. So a certain set of functions, central functions for certain market verticals mm -hmm. and um, as a matter of fact on the right side you can see some equipment of LTE or 4G you might say uh, which is also used as an integration and test system here. So at the moment you're live testing things uh, because th systems are running so that means that there's something happening here right? Yep. So That's right. What, what, what are you testing at the moment? Uh, we're testing at the moment uh, different types of um, voice and data related applications starting from the, from the very basic systems of push to talk over cellular, uh, also including systems of um, process communication, machine to machine communication there, um, uh, integration of um, massive data and, and um, process data, devices and applications like the system here controlling both the robot as well as the lorry in combination in real time to form an uh, automated system here with, with a um, control logic you might say. Okay. Um, this is what we have right now here. Can we see the lorry functioning? Um, or is it? Is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Am I am I asking a difficult question here? Um, let me see if I can start it. Just a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, just uh, uh, I would need a little bit of help to. Oh, to I, okay. Get it all right. Okay. That doesn't matter. But the idea is that that robot, I guess, is following the line over there. Yep. The beacons, because they're beacons. As you can see right there, and then the robot arm is going to drop one of those boxes exactly so in the, in the lorry, right? The, the, the idea is to not have that pre-programmed at certain points in time in certain uh, places, but to have a real-time uh, low latency data communication between all the devices via 5G air interface just to coordinate the actions of the robot with the actions of the lorry in real time using 5G yeah. air interface. In the meantime, I can tell you that the robot lorry is named Kate, 
um, they have, um, of course, names for all of, all of those items. And what is the name of the uh, robot arm? Um, this, its name is Panda. Panda. So, <laughs> Panda is putting a block of wood into Kate. Well, dropping a block of wood into the lorry named Kate. There's one big thing that we need to know, right? Yes, and that thing is that uh, for the action of the robot as well as the lorry, the point in time to drop the block into the car is not pre-programmed, but is being evaluated in real time. Okay, that is indeed important. Okay, and, the, and Kate is already moving. Ah, that's fine. So, so we have one part of the system running. It's an alarm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So it gets gets and can see my shoe, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. So let take away my shoe. How great is that? So collision detection works fine. So that's another app. <laughs> collision <laughs> detection. Yeah, exactly. That worked out perfectly, actually, as designed. Niels, thank you very much. Welcome. See you next time. Great demo. Wonderful. Thanks so much. Much appreciated, right? Much and, appreciated. Um, your and see, you, see you at PMR Expo CW? Yes, CCW, of course, and PMR Expo as well. Mm -hmm.